Katie Moonlight. Alex is here with your monthly numerology readings and this video is for life path or character number six. So this is your November 4 cost. Uh, before I start, the usual, now if you don't know how to calculate your life path or character number, I will leave a link down below in the description box for you to check it uh, where I explain how to do it. Uh, and it, it's a general reading, so it might not resonate with all of you. For some of you, it will not resonate. For others, it will resonate completely. For third group, it will resonate only partially. So take what resonates and leave the rest. So we are starting with the general information for life path of character number six, November 2019. Ooh. We have the Empress, King of Cups, and the Hermit. It seems to me you will be thinking a lot about your emotions, about your trust. It's interesting, like where you can put your trust in whom you can who who you can trust. Um I'm getting two storylines here. One is um, self-love and you're trying to find a way to this self-love with the King of Cups and the Hermit. Mm, you're rethinking some things about yourself, how you take care of yourself because it's like you're stepping on the next level of self-love. And for others it's a person who comes and professes love to you but you're not sure you can trust them. Okay, we'll see more for you. I want to start with the love. Hmm. And again, this is these two cards they came up for life path number five, but again, I shuffle. I reshuffled everything and they came out for you too. So you might be some of you might be dealing with life path or character number five, but not necessarily. But you feel like you are not sure, you're on the crossroads. So yeah, it's mostly about love and somebody mm, that professes love to you. Have to have wants to have swords in the moon. You are not sure, completely not sure. You can trust this person or not. Maybe you don't know enough about them. Maybe it's somebody really new, but somebody with whom you uh, have very deep feelings and everything is developing very quickly. You are not sure. You don't know enough about them. Or oh, they're keeping something away from you, something not being said, something not being done. I don't know what, what's bothering you, but you're not sure you can trust them enough. Let's clarify the love. Six of cups and five of cups. So, I'm getting, yeah, that the feelings are strong. You feel like it's your soulmate, the feelings are there on both sides, on their side, on your side. But you are afraid that you will be left with a broken heart again. That, um, that these are just words, that he or she will not do what they promised to do and you will be, um, not that you will be not, you will be unhappy again. So you are, you will be very wise with the Hermit card, with the King of Swords here. You will be thinking, taking your time, making maybe making a pause in this relationship. Because you need to understand, is this person is for real or not? Okay, we are moving to your changes. And I want to see the career too. Four of Swords. So guys, we also have five of pentacles for your career. I'm getting that there is some, um, it's like you're putting your focus, you're running away from feeling lonely or from feeling insecure into your job. You're investing a lot of time and efforts into work and you're having results. Maybe before you were not having results, as much results as now, but it's definitely changing. The situation is changing. Um, some of you are 
stepping out of your comfort zone you're moving forward you're doing things that you were afraid to do that you're not sure that they will work but you're just putting your head down and you're working 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 and you see how the situation starting to move forward and it's just the beginning of the movement and since it's a, the chariot and chariot is the major arcana it's something big movement forward is ahead of you and there is some healing happening with your either family issues or career but i think it's mostly about career it's like you've been thinking and you've you're changing something definitely stepping out of your comfort zone and it's helping it's healing four of cups in reverse you are not focusing on what you don't have already you are not unhappy any longer you are choosing to switch four of cups to four of swords you are choosing to meet whatever has been um, bugging you whatever has been making you unhappy whatever you've been ignoring before trying to push away before you are releasing this energy of four of cups and you're choosing this energy of four of swords to meet your issues with a clear mind to deal with them because it's going to bring you more stability and more prosperity in getting we have four 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 three times and i'm getting this is something you've been um this unhappiness that you had you've been hiding it from other people you're trying to deal it with it on your own so that is making your progress rather slow because it's kind of difficult to heal yourself without any kind of interference from the outside but it's working slowly but working and there is also some idea it feels to me that you don't feel comfortable sharing this in inconvenient uh insecurities with other people this idea that you want maybe you think that if you share this idea people will tell you that you want too much you, um, stop being a dreamer be realistic there's something some idea also that you're not sharing with people and i feel there will be movement there so don't don't fall back on your ideas here it's gonna work it's gonna work guys and uh well, I don't have to tell you to be wise. You will be wise anyways. So, thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome November. And best of luck with your ideas and love life. And uh, hope to see you soon with my other videos. Bye, guys.